Hey guys, if you need to organize your pantry, then this video is perfect for you. I'm going to be organizing my parents' small pantry. It's basically a pantry within kitchen cabinets. So I'm going to be bringing you along, giving you step-by-step -step instructions on how to organize your pantry as well. Even if you have a bigger pantry, I'm going to be giving you some tips and ideas for different size pantries. I'm going to make this super easy and super clear so you can easily organize your pantry or kitchen. I'll also be sharing other kitchen organizational systems that you need. So I promise by the end of this video, you're going to leave feeling ready and prepared to organize a space in your kitchen. This is what we're gonna be tackling today. Okay, so this is what we are working with. And as you can see, it's just not a great system. So they have a ton of cans right here. They'll tend to buy food when they're on sale, but then it's like, okay, they were going to make chili recently and it's, okay, do we have everything we need for chili? You know, what's back there? So the can system was definitely not working. And so with this pantry specifically, Okay, they're pretty deep. They do pull out, which is a night nice. Um, but still, I mean, you have cans stacked back here. It's like, okay, well, what is that can? And then things that are just laying up there. So hopefully I can help them find a better system. So ultimately the goal is when they need an item, they know exactly where to go to get it. So not only am I going to be organizing this pantry, but I'm also going to be sharing other organizational tips and organizational systems that have worked for me and my pantry that is a little bit bigger than this. I know all pantries are different sizes and shapes, so I just wanted to show you guys some other examples of how you can organize your pantry if it's not exactly like my parents. My parents have pull-out shelves, so you may have a similar pantry, but maybe you don't have pull-out shelves. So I'm gonna give you some, a lot of tips and other organizational um, ideas for your pantry, even if it looks a little bit different, if it's a different size and all of that. I will also have a little graphic that will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how you can go about and make organizing your pantry super easy. Okay, so for step one, like I said, I'll have a little graphic that you can download if you want in the description, but step one is make sure you start organizing with a fully stocked pantry. So it's full. You have all of the food that you have most every single week. Start with a fully stocked pantry. Step number two, take stock of what you have in the pantry and what you would like to keep in there. So, you know, is there anything in another cabinet that you wish you kept in your pantry? So make sure you have everything in there. Step number three, measure the pantry. Measure all of the shelves. How big is it on the floor? How big are the shelves? And then go shopping. I like doing this personally online. I like doing my shopping online, but you can obviously go somewhere in person if that's what you prefer. I like doing it online because I can... Um, price compare so i can you know bring up similar organizational systems or say like what's going to work here there kind of browse different options but also price compare so what does the dollar tree have what does amazon walmart target bed bath and beyond they have a lot of great organizational systems all online and this is where knowing your dimensions is super important and how big your shelves are this is where it will come in handy so i actually did all of this work this pre-work 
before I came to organize today. So you need to do some pre-work before you actually sit down and do the actual organizing. So since this wasn't um, my pantry, I came over, I measured the shelves, I told my parents to make for sure it was fully stocked, and I also kind of looked at what type of foods they had in here. And in my mind, I started writing down categories. So for example, they have a lot of noodles, they have a lot of mac and cheese, they have a lot of taco stuff, and in my mind, I tried to group the foods that were alike, so I knew I could group those together. Obviously, if this was my own pantry, I already know the categories that we keep in our pantry, but I think grouping things together will allow you to contain them and then put them in containers. A suggestion is to try to do what works for your family. So my parents have a lot of rice. They are big rice eaters and myself, my family, we are not. So if I had packets of rice or a box of rice, I would put that with probably a side container, make a whole side container. But for my parents, they needed a whole basket for rice because they have a lot of rice. So keep in mind what works for you and what you have a lot okay, so for your family and what you all keep around in your pantry for your family. And, um, things linked down below. Most of them I got from Amazon, but I did get these from the container store, which isn't my favorite place to shop because we don't have one close by, but I ordered them online and they are just, they're the best containers. They're actually pretty cheap, I would say, because um, I tried to get some from Amazon, similar ones, not the exact same ones, similar ones from Target and Amazon, but they were way more expensive. So I feel like they're a pretty good price and they're just, it's a multi-person purpose bin which is exactly why I love them is you can honestly use them all over and if you guys have watched me organize my freezer before this is what I use in my side-by-side -side freezer I'll include a clip right here um, but yeah I have these in my freezer and they're just they they slide right in there and they are perfect and durable so I thought they would be perfect for their pantry and what they have going on so before i put the food into bins i wanted to make for sure i was washing them and they were all clean So I went through and I grouped everything. So we have light cans, put that right there. So we have, they obviously had a lot of canned food. So I wanted to group all of that together. And I think that was one of the biggest hurdles in their old pantry was, you know, the regular beans were mixed with the sloppy joe mix and the refried beans. So I went ahead and grouped them all together. And then over here I did categories. So we have noodles, Mac and cheese kind of goes with the noodles. And then this is all extra stuff, which we're talking about moving to a different area, but this is all extras. So these are things that they already have, you know, open in the fridge and they're just, you know, things they bought on sale um, that they want to keep extra of. So these all were just taking up space in the pantry. And again, like I said, they're all extras. We have baking supplies, some tuna, and then chicken broth. And you're so maybe you got me believing the magic. So I was just wiping things down and cleaning before we started the actual organizing. If you win it all, the feeling is so. Baby, you got me.
So I know a lot of you guys who have asked me to organize their pantry because it was a smaller pantry, which you don't see a lot. I feel like I haven't come across a lot of videos on YouTube with a cabinet pantry, small pantry. So they obviously have these nice pullout shelves, which does add a different element to organization for them. So if you guys don't have these pullout shelves, um, I'm gonna give you some ideas that you can implement. Let's say, you know, it was just a cabinet like this and they didn't pull out. I'm gonna give you guys some um, different things that maybe you can in implement into your pantry to make it more organized. So one of them, which I actually had, I brought, I didn't know if we would use it. It's something that I had at home. It's Lazy Susans. Lazy Susans are wonderful for so many reasons. And so um, at first I was going to use them in here, but with the shelves pulling out, there's no need <laughs> to use a Lazy Susan. Um, but if they this was in, you know, you could add your stuff and then spin it so you can see everything that's on it. So utilize Lazy Susans for sure, and I'll put some other ideas here. Um, so another tip or step when you're organizing is try to use vertical space. So you can use wire racks like this one, which you could set up on the floor or your pantry. If you have room, you can also use these tiered organizers. This is great for spices. I have one in my kitchen or anything. If you have similar shelves like my parents do in their pantry and it doesn't pull out, you could stack things like cans so you could use organizational systems like this. There's racks like this where you can store things under the shelf and then on top of the shelf so again you're using that vertical space which gives you more space than what you really have Utilizing vertical space is very important. I even see some pantries that have these little drawer organizers in the bottom of their pantries, or you could even utilize door space, which I do with my shoe organizer. And this is really nice when you unbox things like drink mixes, peanut butter, peanuts, all of that. So try to utilize door and vertical space as much as you can to give yourself some more space in your pantry. So I found these can organizers on Amazon and they were perfect. I was able to store all of their cans in their pantry in two racks sitting next to each other in the narrow drawers. You can even stack these. So they come in a pack of two. And um, so I bought two total, which I have four, but they come in a pack of two if that makes sense. I couldn't stack them because my parents don't have the height in their pantry. So I was able to sit them side by side. But if you had the height in your pantry, you could definitely stack them. And I know I kind of stacked the cans a little bit too high, um, three rows high, which you're not supposed to do, which it worked out. It was fine for our situation. But if you only stack them two rows high of cans, you can for sure stack the can organizers on top of each other.
So these containers are great. I actually have some at my home in my pantry. I got them from Amazon and they are just great for cereal, pancake mix, which my parents had in a Ziploc bag. And you could put snacks, chips, pretzels, pretty much anything in here. And my parents also had granola up here with their cereal, which I'll have to get some more containers like this for the granola. Um, I guess I kind of underestimated to try to store more things. But another tip is to try to store things that you don't use as often up at the top or behind things in your pantry. Um, so I was actually going to put the granola back up behind the cereal because they don't use it on a daily basis and only my dad uses it and he's pretty tall and my mom is pretty short. So, you know, it's, it's a perfect space that, you know, you have all of that space behind the cereal containers that's going unused. So I, you know, you would want to put stuff back there that you don't use daily or, you know, take the, the tallest people in your family whatever they use on a daily basis, put it back there. Um, and then the shorter people make sure the stuff is easily accessible for them. And then step seven is group things together and put things into containers and box what you can. You can write expiration dates on the bottom of the container with tape. And if you need directions for something like say pancake mix, which we didn't need, my parents have that memorized. We personally do as well. Um, you can always cut out the directions from the box and tape it on the back of the container. But like I said earlier, to group things together that makes sense for your family. The example I gave earlier was make it make sense for your family. So we have a side basket that we put a variety of sides together like quinoa and rice and mac and cheese but someone like my parents they had a lot of rice so they want to group those all together so just do what makes sense for your family when you're grouping things together okay so when we put these in at first i had envisioned them this being the front you know them sitting here but i could only get two to fit here and then i was like well i guess i could put one like that so it would still be three, but we would only be able to fit one, two, and there would be a tiny bit of space, which we would be just so small, we wouldn't be able to do anything with, and there would be a third one back here. Now, if I switch them like this, then we still have a little bit of space right here that I could tuck something away. So, not how I had envisioned, but I played around with it and it makes more sense. Feels like we're fading out, I'm losing you Can't we try again, don't let this go to waste Feels like we're fading out, I'm losing you Oh, can't we try again Don't let this go to waste So it was really cool with all of these rice packets that they had. They had somewhere else in their kitchen and they wanted them in their pantry, but I was able to create so much more space in their pantry, more room, that we were able to pull the some stuff from a different cabinet and pretty much clear a whole extra shelf and space over there by organizing the pantry. Okay, so when I had ordered these bins, I did not order, I only ordered one of the small bins. I don't know what I was thinking, um, but I think it's actually going to work out. So we have this extra space right here. <clears throat> and my parents have all of the spaghetti sauce. And this was something, we're gonna end up putting a lot of the other extras they have in a different cabinet. Um, but this isn't really an extra. So extra would be like extra ketchup, extra mustard, extra pickles. They already have those open in the refrigerator, you know, um, but they don't have spaghetti sauce open. So that's not technically an extra. So I think what I'm going to do, I think this will work out. I'm going to put them here, which it'll be nice because you have your noodles here, your spaghetti noodles. So when they go to make spaghetti noodles, um, spaghetti or any other type of pasta and they want to use marinara, these are grouped.
Okay, so I know this isn't technically pantry related, but kind of. So they do have a little bit of overflow from their pantry up here. And they actually had all of these guacamole packets, um, gravy packets, taco seasonings and stuff like that. And they also had some random rice packets in there, which I was able to put in their actual pantry. Um, so we have these, they have snacks for when the kids come over. So these are the applesauce pouches and they have granola bars. So I got this nice little <laughs> divider, Lazy Susan turntable thing that I thought would be perfect for up there to consolidate granola bars, packets, and pouches. So um, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Watch me, just follow every move. Touch me. I cannot wait to get one of these for my pantry. You could do so many things with this. You could use it in your refrigerator. You can use it in your pantry, any cabinet. And the options are endless with this. And it's also perfect for my parents specifically because I think I said earlier that my mom is pretty short. And so she loves uh, turntables, Lazy Susans like this because she can just turn it and grab what she needs and she doesn't have to worry about things being tucked away in the back. Right, so this is perfect for, like I said, if you have cabinets or drawers or shelves that don't pull out. Okay, so this is the boxes we were able to get rid of. And we didn't get rid of a lot of boxes because that's just kind of what worked for them. But these are the containers and boxes we were, bulky boxes that we were able to get rid of. And then um, these were random baskets that they had down there in their corner Lazy Susan cabinet. So I was able to get rid of all of this stuff and put in their actual pantry. I ended up moving all of their extras on the bottom shelf in that corner Lady Lazy Susan cabinet. I was able to completely empty that by all of those other baskets that I was talking about. Um, the rice packets were down there. So all of this space was completely open by me organizing the pantry. And it's just nice because they don't, um, really need extras taking up space in their pantry because they already have one open somewhere else so they can put all of their extras down here in the back tucked away and it's just a perfect spot okay so since we're organizing i do have a video which i will link down below of where i organized their spice cabinet with these spices and it just ends up being a perfect spot because you have their stove and oven right here so they can open this. Previously, they were not utilizing this drawer at all for spices and it just ended up being a perfect spot. So when they're cooking, they can grab it, they can see it. So I'll, I will also have these linked down below in the description um, as well as that video, but you can go see that. Um, and then if you guys are in need of some really good canisters that are very well priced, I highly suggest these Better Homes and Gardens. I got them from Walmart for them. So um, they're just, they're nice. I love the white, the shiny white, and they're, they're pretty durable. So in order to seal it, it seals really tight. So that's why I like keeping, you know, your sugar, flour, whatever else. I mean, you could honestly use these for so many different things in your home. Um, seals tight. So these are really nice. I will have them linked below as well. And I featured these in the same video of when I organized their spices. When you were leaving, I need you even more than I did All right, so now it's time to label. And I busted out my beloved Cricut Joy Machine. This makes labeling so easy. There's an actual app for the Cricut Joy that you can literally go on on your iPhone um, and it already has labels created so you just type in the words the letters and you can make amazing labels for all over your home and they even have like what I'm using today is the most basic like it's not even a label it's just you know letters but they actually have labels like cute labels you can add to anything in your home
These bins from the container store are just so great because I think I mentioned earlier that they're fairly cheap. Like I feel like they're cheaper than what you would be able to find similar at Target or Amazon and they have heavy duty handles. It's easy to grab them and pull them out wherever they are. Like I showed you guys earlier, I have them in my freezer and it's just so easy to grab one and they're heavy duty and they've lasted. It's been for over two years I've had them and they still look brand new. So I'm going to go ahead and put my Instagram right here. I would love for you guys to come over, find me over there. If you have one, make sure if you do say hi to me, send me a message. That's one of my favorite ways to be able to connect with you guys is over on Instagram. I'm gonna show you how it looks. I love it and my parents do. So that makes me happy that they enjoy it and they like it. So we'll start with the top. So up here, this was pretty simple. Just put the cereal in the containers um, and they had a bunch of stuff back there that we were able to put in other cabinets over here. I put the pancake mix back here i wasn't able to get all four to fit right here and they don't eat pancakes a ton um and they know it's back there so um cereal because they eat that almost daily out front and then we tucked the pancake mix back in the or all the way in the back and there's even extra room back here so if there's anything else that they want to put back here they can and then over here we have a container for rice a container for potatoes, baking, and then tuna. Um, I didn't label the tuna because I don't know if they'll keep tuna in that container every single time. So I left that one blank. And even though you can't see the labels because of the way it's tucked in there, I mean, the idea is with these bins, and that's why it's nice, is they have these handles. So you can easily, I'm trying to do it one hand, trying to do it one handed since I have the camera on the other hand. But the idea is, okay, they need potatoes you know they can just grab this out and it's it's labeled so um that's why the i love these bins because they're heavy duty they have the handles and they're just perfect for this organization project then here we have noodles this is mac and cheese right now um they bought these this recently i think from costco to keep on hand for when the twins come over or the my girls when they come over i didn't want to get really specific because i feel like they always have a lot of noodles so i just figured we'll keep it noodles noodles and then this is their taco bin and then extra jars of spaghetti sauce because they end up or marinara sauce which they end up using a lot and then i think this is my favorite part all of these cans that they had that was just randomly stacked down here um these are pretty amazing there's multiple different racks of these on amazon but i had to find specific ones that would fit into these small shelves um, and it works perfect because they have a lot of cans, but we were able to successfully get them all in here, which is pretty nice.
guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas for organizing your own pantry. I think one of the hardest things about pantry organization is we all are working with different spaces. Some of us have big pantries, some of us have small pantries, some of us have pantries with shelves that pull out, other ones don't, and that can be a little bit difficult. Not to mention we all have different items and foods and stuff that we keep in our pantries. So it can be a little bit difficult, but what I try to do with this video is give you guys a variety of ideas. So no matter the kitchen you have, the pantry you have, or the type of food you have, hopefully I got those creative juices going and you can take what I've given you and go and organize your pantry or a space in your house. Thank you for sticking around and make sure you're subscribed. There's lots of cleaning motivation on my channel, a lot more organizing videos coming. Kitchen organization, office organization, bedroom, bathroom. I have a lot more planned. So get ready. We're gonna get this done. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.